Next up is Sagittarius, like wild Sagittarius and Scorpio. I think well, I, I think I can like pre something. predict this one given the whole <laughs> extroverted nature and then what we were talking about how Scorpio can be a little bit more deep and introverted emotionally. But I will I'll let well, you Well you kind you you've, you've laid out some of the territory already. We know this that um, Sagittarius is a fire sign as well. So fire signs are more exuberant and warm mm -hmm. and uh, adventurous. And Sagittarius particularly is very optimistic mm -hmm. and, and um, risk-taking yes. and, and social yeah. and likes to, likes to really expand boundaries, and whether it's with social groups that are very diverse or with learning that is very diverse, or travel that is very diverse, and um, it would it would be difficult uh, for a Sagittarian that also uh, enjoys independence mm. and a little space. Absolutely. It's very difficult, I think, for a Sagittarian in the long haul to find that Scorpio's needs for. Uh, Possessiveness needs, mm. um, and uh, the other part is really the need for privacy. Okay. There's a real a kind of a uh, playing things close to the vest with Scorpio, and with Sagittarius, it's just kind of blah yeah. out there for everybody. <laughs> yeah. And so um, Scorpios might not really feel like their secrets are safe. And uh, it's just an issue of temperaments being not really well matched. Gotcha. So I could see some insecurities surfacing with Scorpio on that one when you've got the wild and crazy and fun Sagittarius thrown in the mix. There you go. And, and while Scorpios sometimes have a reputation for, you know, for jealousy or, you know, or wishing to control or possess the other person, it's really about Scorpio's need to control their own security mm, needs. Very good point. Very good point. And I, I feel like that's kind of the same with almost anything, it seems like, You're in right. terms of like projecting, but it's a really good point to make in terms of Scorpios that might be dealing with meeting some their, of yeah, those. Meeting their, their own, uh, recognizing their own security needs yeah. and emotional needs. Always a healthy thing. Yeah. Contact us. Let yeah. us know what's working for I you. I know, right? Don't hesitate to leave experiences below in the comment section or make your own videos because goodness knows it's interesting stuff to see how everyone kind of gets along. It's not just the sun sign that plays into a given person's personality and what they're going to be compatible with, but this was a really neat example with each sign in terms of in general given the sun sign what signs are compatible with Scorpio and others maybe not so much so it's a beginning of understanding relationships but um, your sun sign is your essence mm -hmm. and it is in a, in a way it's the person that you were born to be and when you navigate your uh, your life um, in the most optimal way, you've lived out the story of your sun sign well, and so knowing uh, knowing a little bit about needs and relationships because relationships are so vital yeah. um, to um, a full life. Right. This is um, good information to you know, just consider. to hold, consider. Yeah. Well, this is great information to consider, and thank you again for kicking it off with Scorpio and explaining a bit about the sun sign compatibilities that we've got going on. Kendall, thank you very much for